professors. Due to COVID-19 and lockdown, many university professors, school teachers are requested by their institutes to teach online. In this regard, they need softwares to edit their videos. They need copyright free content. They need the editing websites where they can easily edit their thumbnails. So without wasting any time, in this video, I will practically show from my computer that uh, which channel, which website you can use to download copyright free videos or images. The second, I will explain that once you upload a video from where you can edit a picture and what kind of thumbnails you need to show on your video to make it more attractive. By thumbnail, I mean the front picture you see on any video. The third thing will be editing software. Editing software is, uh, I will show a completely free software which I am using since last eight months on my YouTube channel. And the last one will be screen capture. The software which I'm gonna share with you has the potential to screen capture, has the potential to run the slideshows and you can add the voiceover. The software can also edit your videos. You can add the text, you can do all the activities. I will practically do all these things. So without wasting any time, I will one by one explain everything from my uh, computer. I'm sure you will find it useful. If you find it useful, please share it with all your colleagues so that they also get benefit from it. I wish you good luck. May you stay blessed. May you stay happy. Thank you so much. Please watch the practical video, the practical demos. Teachers, for editing videos, you might need some pictures, you might need some videos. So I suggest you to use this website which has www.pexels.com I will put its link in the description you can also copy from there I will also uh, put it on the screen so that you go to this site over here you can find more than thousand videos photos uh, these photos are completely copyright free let's say you you can search from here like you are teacher of marketing you can search the word marketing then it will show you many videos and many pictures you can download free and you can put inside your video these pictures and videos i will explain how you can put uh, these pictures in your video over here i just wanted to show you the type of content available on this channel or this website so as you can see for marketing there are so many videos you can explain if you are explaining something related to market then you can play these videos on your uh, channel you can see so many videos similarly if you need it also tells the social media design technology communication officer digital all kind of videos let's say you don't want the videos you want to have the pictures then you can download the pictures simply you will click on it the the one interface will open sorry about my internet it's not it's pretty slow today <laughs> I don't know why but uh, I just want to show you a demo that how downloading the videos is is so easy okay so here we got the video I will click on this free download and it will start downloading you can see from the bottom of the screen it's 6.1 MB and it's downloading let's say you want to download the pictures let's say you want to explain the marketing and then you can see you want to use this picture you can download it free so we will put all these all this content in the video editing follow me we will use all this thing in our videos while when I will edit the videos so you can see it here so you can download for free it I clicked on it twice so it downloaded twice so this is the first uh, website you need to know while editing videos while making videos be careful in adding the pictures most of the pictures uh, people are placing these days they are copyright pictures so anyone can claim the copyright content so that that's that was the first thing I wanted to share with you this is the first thing the second thing is about the thumbnail the editing even these videos you can use for your thumbnail this is a website which is called canva.com I will add it in the description you need this website you can see all my design I have created the thumbnail I create thumbnails using this uh, wonderful website this is totally free I, you will go to the creator design and then create a thumbnail create a channel art create animated social media we will go to the thumbnails 
you can use these thumbnails inside your video so there are many templates placed over here i don't want to uh, you can simply drag and drop these it will also come with the text it has let's say over here it will show the complete text you can edit the text and you can put it otherwise this is the copy page you can copy this page this is for new page i just want to make a thumbnail from scratch just to show you that how you can use the different features of canva.com now i have uploaded the picture which we downloaded in the canva now you can see that this is this picture is here if you download once a picture in canva it will always be there it does not need any detail you can simply sign in with your gmail so now let's say we want to add the text so it gives different text templates you can use these templates you can always add your own headings let's say i want to use my own heading i want to write marketing lectures okay now as you can see it's black it's not visible so so before this i want to show you the size you can make it 100 you can choose, choose different colors you can make it white whatever you want to play with it then there is a you can click on the picture and then you in order to make it more clear you can go to the adjustments let's say you want to reduce the brightness if we reduce the brightness it will be like this way looking perfect if you want to keep this brightness you can play with the contrast and other features so you know these things better as per your requirement i just wanted to show and there are different effects there are different styles which this canva offer you for your uh, uh, pictures and then let's say some teachers use different elements for elements you can also use this website and uh, this is uh, uh, this is you can search from here let's say you want to put some arrow okay you can search arrow and it will show you different arrows there are free arrows a lot of free arrows it also has the paid arrows but i would say but i think for you for me all the time the free uh, free arrows are, are are enough are enough so these are the elements i wanted to tell you sometimes you just maybe want to put a background so th there are available backgrounds over here let's say you just want to put this thing uh, do not want to write all the, the picture you just put your own background there are many backgrounds you will explore it just in case you want to make the picture transparent you can also make it from here transparent you can increase the transparency you can also crop the pictures as you can see from ma uh, many options but i think these are the important options which you needed to know now coming towards the download when you download the pictures this is a png file it will chances are uh, uh, it is kind of slightly higher uh, has higher size but jpg is also enough so you can select all the pages to download but you can select a single page to download let's say i select the page which we made the the, the picture which we made i am clicking done and download it so i'm downloading it as you can see from the screen it will go here now we have this picture okay uh, downloaded over here now i'm going towards the vsdc I wanted to show you I was just editing my one video this is about the writing a complaint and uh, I just want to sh show you the project that this is the interface of the channel I made it for myself slightly over here you can see you have to drag and drop your video let me start a totally new project so that you understand that what you need what you have to do from scratch I will close this and start a new project. I'm saying new project. This software name is VSDC. I will put its link from where you can download it. Now you can start a project of our videos. You can create a slideshow. You, you can create the different thumbnails and, and place the different thumbnails with it. You can also import the content. You can also video capture it. You can also screen capture. So it, it, it is used for the multiple purposes. Right now we are using for is for video editing. I'm assuming that you have downloaded the video with the camera or your mobile. Now you want to edit it. In the end, I will also show you that how you can screen capture using this VSDC. Now new project. And uh, now I will I will I have some uh, videos in, over here. I will drag and drop it. Simply drag and drop. You can see the video is here. Now if I play it. I worked as manager customer experience in one of the leading multinationals.
and uh, okay now if let's say you want to trim it from this side you can trim it if you want to trim it from this side you can just simply click on it and this way you can drag it okay you can trim it simply as you can see the timeline it was around four four minutes a video now it's two minute video because we dragged it okay now you want to put some picture as we downloaded several pictures we made this picture marketing lectures so in the start of the video you want marketing lectures i dragged it if you want to put something in front so you simply uh, click on it and you can drag it down i dragged it down now you can see in front there is marketing lecture i want the marketing lecture to appear in just first two seconds i will drag it and make it just two second thing okay now it will start this way when i will play this I first this thing will appear and okay. then my video will appear I okay i think this is something which you can do for other videos too let's say i want to put a video over here i will simply go to the downloads which we did over here if this pixels from the pixels website i will do i will add this thing now you can see this video is here when i will move this cursor here you can see this video here okay now you can play the video Working and you can see you can see on the background there is background voice in front you can see there is video let's say uh, on pixels we downloaded a video which does not have a voice let's say in some cases a video has two videos has a voice you don't want to overlap the voice what you can do you can right click you can remove the video of one voice audio track you can say don't use the audio track okay I already did the don't use the audio track over here when a, a video has a voice it has two options track one or audio track let's it has track one or don't use the voice now I'm saying don't use the voice now when I play this video this is completely silent I will again make it use the voice so let's say if you recorded a video and there was a background voice while recording and now you again want to record it in a silent place then what you can do you can uh, stop the uh, the voice of the video and then you can record the audio uh, again this these are these are the main features i wanted to show you now sometimes you want to crop the pictures you want to crop the videos let's say i want to crop this video so you will go to this option this is called crop so you can crop the video as per your uh, you can crop the picture as per your requirement so you can auto crop it you can crop it with the custom region this is something which i just wanted to to to, to show you so that you use it i'm canceling it one important thing which teachers need to use is the text you can click on the text and you can put a lot of text a text give, gives you option you want it added from the screen or to the end whatever you want to add so i will just drag it and drop create it this way and i will say a b c now what is wrong here the picture is above here so i have to drag slightly this one so now you can see it is writing a b c farooq buzdar test i just wrote, for, uh, wrote it for you so now you can drag and put this text anywhere at any place in the video okay one thing more teachers need uh, maybe teachers need is the animations i just want to show you the animations you will click uh, if you want to add animation on anything or crop anything in your timeline which you are adding in your video you have to click on that without clicking on that you can you, you cannot go to that thing so let's say i want to add the animation in this first picture i will click on the first picture now it is selected i will go to video effects now i will do what i will do i will add the transition i will say use the page turn it will ask me that should i use the page turn from the end of the scene yes from the from, from the beginning of the scene from the beginning of the scene okay now i did it now i want to add another fact on it that also add the animation at the end of the scene i will go to the page turn and i will put it at the end of the scene okay now what will happen let's say when it, i will play it this thing will happen so you have to slightly shorten the video so that the picture appears okay now you can see oh the it appeared first page turn appeared then a page turn are closed so this is what you can do with your videos so in my point of view these are the few things let's say sometimes you want to add a background of your text this option is for the background you want to create i want to create it from the beginning 
okay you can put it this way you can large it you can you can slightly reduce it it's up to you whatever your requirement is okay so this is kind of a background we have added in the video okay now once this is that you can make it uh, you can uh, kind of remove its background but uh, I, I suggest uh, it's, it's totally up to you you want to remove it or you want to keep it now if you want to add something you will go to the text and you will write some text on it okay let's say over here Farooq now this is white text actually I have default white uh, text uh, updated on, on this you can make it black whatever your style is uh, you, you need as per your requirement so I will click on the text bottom to select it now you can see you cannot see the text why because the rectangle is above the text so I have to drag it down okay this will come to the downside and that will get go to the upside in order to show anything on screen you need to move this cursor over here let's say I wrote Farooq now you can see the Farooq written over here you can write anything else and then you can group one thing I can group this thing as one thing so this is the thing which we can which you can also do while making the videos over here it gives the option of grouping so I have covered that how you can place the videos how you can edit the videos how you can trim the videos okay now other thing is trim there is this trim option let's say I know I want to keep this my name obviously for a while not through the whole video so now let's say you want to trim something so from here this is the trim option first you need to click on the video then you go to the trim option okay now it says trim from the start trim uh, uh, till the end or cut from this fragment whatever you want to use you can use as per your own requirement so I think these are the main things which any university professor or teacher needs if you want to add some music or audio file you can simply drag and drop and add it over here just for your ease I want to show one sample let's say I have some audio file over here where I have some audio file I do not know maybe I have something yeah I have this audio from whatsapp so I can drag it from here I will just move it there now you can see this uh, this audio now you can see that there are two or two audios the audio of this thing the audio of this thing now I want to close if I want to close audio from one video I will go here I will go to the track close this audio so that only one audio plays now you can listen again now you can say the audio of, of the whatsapp is playing so I think these are the main things which any university professor or teacher needs I'm not going to the complex options which you uh, most of the teachers do not need which I, I even do not use uh, because the objective is not to make the fancy videos the objective is to make it, uh, make it simple and simple is all the time beautiful so now how to export it now you have edited it or now you want to export it you have to click on export project export project yes I will continue click on the continue now you can see that it's exporting okay I can uh, I'm cancelling it because I do not need it right now so there are different uh, formats which, which you can select as per the social media uh, for your social media just want to make it again on track I will keep on uh, editing it so this one you can remove anything yeah you can oh yeah I forgot to remove uh, tell the removal you, you you have to just click on the delete button or you can simply right click and delete anything which you want to delete from the timeline you export it, it it will export it in a short while like in maximum it takes uh, for five minutes video maximum one minute or two minute this is totally free no charges so now moreover respected teachers besides this video editing VSDC can also use the create slideshow let's say we want to start one project of create slideshow you can click on create slideshow and it will tell you that pick the slides pictures you can drag and drop pictures from a file let's say I will click on it and I have many pictures in my downloads 
so what I will do I will select some pictures okay I selected four to five pictures one video you can also have the video so I clicked it it's preparing my files as you can see it has prepared five to six slides I can play with the options you will also play it more with the options of it but uh, now let's say I want to play it I have selected all this select all this and go to it okay I'm done with this it's giving five seconds I think five seconds are enough for us apply settings now we have applied settings as you can see it has merged all the slides and it will, it will give five seconds to every slide on background you can add any music just like you can drag and drop as we did in the editing as we can see I hope we have some audio file over here we can just pick one audio file or some video file which has the background yeah. now I will put this file in the background let's say I'm speaking and in the background uh, in the front this picture we play as you can see so that you can add the audio and then you can export the project okay very simple now I also told you that using uh, VSDC you can also do the screen recording so over here this is the video capture this is the screen capture let's say you want to capture the screen I clicked on it my project name is project 4 okay finish it so it has opened this bar it is saying that uh, these are the uh, settings and over here it will save my recorded uh, video screen capture I'm saying start recording so now it has uh, start this has opened the recording option I can make it full and then you can see this red button I have to click on the red button to continue it and then I have to uh, press the escape button to cancel it right now I will play the continue button but I will not escape it as I am already using one other software for screen recording to show this to you so simply you will click here to record, record and then you will simply press the escape button and it will automatically save your video but for screen recording I most of the time use another software uh, I think that is better compared to this one and uh, that is on my screen as you can see free cam 8 I will also add its description once uh, I will add this free cam in the description you have to just click it as any free cam to record the screen it has the option to record the voice but I suggest you while recording the voice do not record the voice using your laptop because laptop fine has a uh, has noise so I record my voice using my laptop uh, mobile recording and then I uh, for the screen then I use uh, my computer and then in VSDC I merge both uh, both things so it's telling me that you are already using this uh, uh, software for the recording so that's what I wanted to share today if you find it useful I request you to go to my YouTube channel Mohammed Farooq Buzdar and uh, recommend it to your friends let's have uh, uh, as I have added many courses on research I have summarized more than 200 books I have uh, one English course I better speak better so there are many there's too much content one course on uh, 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 Mendeley or uh, I have also course on uh, Atlas TI literature review search proposal I hope you will find this channel useful this is the channel name Mohammed Farooq Buzdar thank you so much I wish you all good luck I pray that uh, you find this work useful my objective is to slowly uh, so, so, uh, to only help those people who are uh, who are looking for the free software this these are totally free softwares and i wish you good luck all thank you so much